Actually, I like the balance of the theoretical and practical, the breadth um, of experience in, in the learning, um, which I think Oxford Brooks provided. I felt that um, the um, lecturers, um, I think they're all practising coaches, um, and I think uh, they all have um, something different to bring as well. So I really enjoyed that varied um, contribution that they made. Because there is no research up until the time I've done mine um, into listening and coaching. Um, what exactly is it? What, what is it made of? Um, how does it work? Um, so I was uh, interested to explore that further, um, particularly after reading um, Elaine's book, um, which she presents a theory-based model of listening. Um, so that fascinated me, the reading behind it. Just the power of being, uh, you know, drawing your client back to their core values and, um, and beliefs, um, and the impact that can have um, in the coaching session. Um, and the just the sheer number of interruptions that happened in the recorded sessions that I had um, from my contributors um, and actually how powerful they were um, uh, when they were delivered in that vein, looking at beliefs and values. Um, I think that, that was a real eye-opener. It, um, it wasn't something that I expected to find. I mean, the very fact that four other coaches were happy for me to listen to their coaching sessions and at some depth um, to analyse it and question about it um, did get me thinking more about my own coaching practice. So I know I loved it. I think I've learned just through the academic process to learn to focus a, a bit on the things that would be most useful to me and that's a personal decision that you make as you go through it. Um, I, you know, there's no right or wrong I guess in that. It certainly resulted in my own coaching practice being massively different to what it was when I started out. Just having the opportunity with a group of your own peers to, for example, present your coaching model, practice it, get feedback, and be able to act on that. And that was probably the most powerful part of it.